all of those women that are not good for you will either A, straighten up or get out of your way. Greetings all and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Perry Walker and today I want to talk to the young man. Now, uh, I make videos primarily about relationships, you know, because I believe in marriage. I believe that it's not good for a man to be alone. And I do understand that there is a great challenge between the men and the women today. And I don't want to argue uh, who's right and who's wrong. But what I want to say is I, I really want to talk to you young men about being prepared. Anyway, I put out a video earlier talking about what young men should do to prepare for marriage. It didn't get a lot of traction. And I understand maybe it was my title, maybe it was a thumbnail. I know YouTube is real finicky. Like one guy told me that today people want to be entertained. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a very entertaining person. And uh, though I do, do understand that you got to put some entertainment in it, but this video right here, I'm gonna make it short. Look, fellas, I know you hear, you talk a lot about how some of these ladies are, and you'll get no argument out of me on that. You know, I've met some some horrible women, uh, young and old, that seem to be on another planet when it comes to what they desire out of a man, okay? But one of the things I will say to you, young man, you definitely have to be prepared to be a husband, okay? Um, unfortunately, I know that some people think that, okay, I just meet some woman and, she, you know, we vibing together, uh, she'll want to be with me, but uh, women want security. That, uh, that's just how they hardwired. It's just like we men want respect. You know, we want any, any self-respecting, any man that has any respect about himself, he wants respect. He doesn't want to be disrespected, okay? So women want security. Look, you have to make sure that you have a relationship with your creator, okay? You got to have your life together mentally, okay? You have to have your life together physically, okay? Uh, you have to have uh, a, a strong will to, to do what's right, okay? And do what's necessary as a man, okay? And, and that may take some time to learn. Uh, uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of young men that didn't grow up with uh, their fathers or with a good father figure, and this could be a challenge for them. Uh, but you, you, you can't be into your emotions, okay? Now, I've, I've heard about this uh, sassy man movement. I know that it's a, um, a parody with some of the, uh, a parody to the response of some of the women's demands on what they want from a guy. But all seriousness, look, like I said, you, you got to have your emotions in check. You can't shake and move like a woman. You can't. Even some dudes that walk around with heavy vibrato, you know that, that that is feminine energy because you feel like, well, you ain't going to disrespect me and you're going to act out. Uh, men, we we have to be logical and methodical about how we approach things. We can't act out of our emotions trying to prove ourselves like we're going to show them. That's a feminine trait. So you can't be like that. Uh, second, look, you, you're going to have to get an occupation, whether it's a blue collar occupation, whether it's a white collar occupation, you're going to have to make sure that you are... Uh, uh, making a living, setting yourself up for success if a family is something that you want in your future. You're just going to have to. These women today, is, and uh, any good woman, isn't going to uh, uh, want a guy that doesn't have anything going for him. And I'm not saying that you got to be rich because I know there's some gold digging women that says, well, if he can make 100000 or $200,000, he can't be with me. And if he can't take me to this fancy restaurant, I don't even want to talk to him. If he can't give you $30, I know that. Look, those type of women, don't even pay attention to them. I'm talking, there's some really good women out there that don't think like that, okay? And I, the social media have you thinking that all women act like that, but they don't, okay? But, but I could tell you this, a good self-respecting woman is going to want a man that's doing something with his life, whether that man is a mechanic or a, a corporate banker engineer or a doctor. He, she just wants him to be a responsible person, okay? And you got to take the time to set yourself up for success. You got to learn about finances and money. I'm not saying you got to be some financial guru. I'm not. Look, I go to Charles Schwab. Why? Because I'm not good at that stuff. So that means if you got to get education on doing it, right? Or if you got to go to a financial advisor, make sure you're you're not meeting someone. Or if you're 
time to get married, then y'all find out right then and there that you're in debt up to your ears or you don't know how to manage money or both of y'all don't know how to manage money. That'd be a bad combination. So you got to know how to manage your money, all right? You got to know how to interact with the opposite sex correctly. Look, when I was a young man, I didn't have much guidance in this area, right? And uh, my hormones took control. I had sex before marriage. I did all the things that I shouldn't have done because I was ignorant, okay? Now, as a man that trusts and believes in, in the purpose and plan of God, look, I'm telling you, look, if you've been shaking and moving that way, stop. You got to learn to interact with the opposite sex, without any type of sexual encounter. You need to be able to think soberly, right? You need to know how to think with this head instead of that head down there, all right? It's a must. You know, it's, it's too many young men I encounter um, on my job, and it, it and even with my sons, I, and they've seen how I was throughout the years, how hard I worked. I wasn't perfect. I tried to instruct them about times and seasons. They still make mistakes. But I can tell you this, look, a woman is not going to respect you if you don't carry yourself as a man to be respected. She just not, okay? You're going to have those Jezebel types that are never submit to a man, you know? Because one way that you know that you, you, you meet a good woman is when you talk about, well, you know, as a man... I'm supposed to love my wife as Christ loves the church, but I want my wife to be able to submit to me as unto the Lord. And if you get that submit, what? That woman probably isn't the right type of woman for you, right? Just just shake it off and keep moving, right? But all I'm saying is get yourself together before you get yourself in a situation. Stop having sex with these women, impregnating women, or leaving a trail of broken hearts, right? Or even yourself, you know, because you're affected by this as well. You may not be affected like how the woman is affected, but you are. But anyhow, I just had to make this video and I pray that uh, some young man, even young woman, or maybe a mother or a father, somebody, auntie, uncles, uh, see this. And if you know someone who's misbehaving or maybe you're misbehaving, look, I'm not trying to throw shade at you. I'm not trying to point my finger at you. I'm not trying to put you down. No, I just want to see uh, the black community thrive. And, and the only way we're going to thrive is through good, strong nuclear families that's built on the principles of Christ Jesus. You know, Jesus said something really profound. He said, how can I trust you with spiritual things if you can't even handle the natural things? See, look, you got to handle your natural life well, okay? If, if you don't, then nothing will, will fall in line, okay? So if you want to have that family one day, if you want to be able to build that strong family, right, Okay, and and get out of that victim mindset of these women, these women, these women, these women. And I, I got a video for the women, so don't worry about that. Then you have to make sure that you are that you are okay, that you are established, okay, that you're standing firm because all of those women that are not good for you will either a straighten up or get out of your way, and then the ones that are ready for the type of man that you are will be right there for you. And that's all I have to say. I hope this helps someone. Until the next time, I'll see you in the next one.